Hi guys, my name is Chino Ayo Oyindola, and with me is uh, Mr. Michael Abiodo Shitu. He is the CEO of Sterling Home. And this man has been doing really good for himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to introduce to you the man of the people, by the people, and for the people. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good. It's good to have you in the studio today. Yeah, nice having you too, sir. Which one are you really into? Is it the commercial or the 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 old personal home? Uh, we have the residential and the commercial uh, property. We do both. All right. Now let's look at people that do their own business. Now let's say I I, have, I own my own business. I want to buy a home. Uh, what are the things that I need to to put together? Uh, if you can actually prove that you work that you have been doing the same job for just a little time, you will qualify to buy a home. There is nothing impossible when it comes to buying a home. If you live here, you have, a, you have paper to work. And basically it is not about pe people, with, people with green card. If you have your work authorization, even if you don't have a work authorization, you have your ITI hand or here hand and you are working, you are filing taxes today, you are good to go. There is a lot of way you can be a homeowner and it is possible. Okay, who and who are supposed to have a home in America? Uh, basically, everybody working here should have a home to their name. It is very important. What types of homes are we talking about? Oh, uh, there are a lot of homes anybody can actually buy. We have single family homes, the condominiums, townhomes, apartment. For investment, for family living, you can buy any one of it. Before we can buy a home, if you don't have your cash, you need to get loans from some of the companies. Which companies do you work with that you think it's sure for people? Uh, As in loans given out. Okay. Discovered Homes is one of the best you can talk about when it comes to mortgage loans. And that is the broker I work with, Mr. and Mrs. Ojo. Okay. Uh, do, do they also do the down payment assistance? They do all forms of down payment assistance to anybody who's qualified. So you have to be qualified before they yeah. can do it. Okay. W what do you understand by the first time home buyers? Uh, first time home buyer is a person buying a home for the first time to live in it or for business. And for gain? Or for gain for or you want to keep it for future investment generational wealth building do you have a particular area that they are doing the program that people can join or it doesn't matter whenever you're ready you, you can join. whenever you are ready it doesn't really matter anywhere you are buying your property it doesn't matter anywhere at any time just reach out to us Okay, uh, let's go straight to loan option for people in diaspora. What does that mean? Simply means people in diaspora, let's say people in Nigeria, they can actually buy a home here for investment. You have a child here who is schooling or you want to buy a home to use for Airbnb or long-term tenant and all of that. It is very possible. We have a lot of programs. Even without having an American visa, it is possible. You get paid your profit and everything as planned. Just give me a call. Uh, the, the one that is very hot right now is people asking whether they can get a green card uh, from Nigeria by having a home. Is it right? Is this something that is working? Yeah, that is very, very possible. With real estate investment, you can actually have a green card from Nigeria for a lot of people wow. who have been trying to come to the United States and want their green card is very possible through real estate investment. Do they have to have a certain amount of money or it doesn't matter? Just it requires um, a certain amount of money for investment okay. before you get it done. Okay. But everything is possible. That's all I will say. Just give me a call. I'll put you through about the program. Have you done it for some people? Uh, basically, I have done it to a whole lot of people and we wow. still have a lot of people in, in their progress. home now. We have people in America right here. Who, 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 everything is done, completed under nine months. You migrate with your family, your children, your wife, your husband. Your with children. green card. You, you invest in real estate. It is very possible. Okay, my people, you just said that now. So when you are in Nigeria, or you are in Ghana, or you are wherever in Africa, 
you want to have a green card without having to do with uh, you know what I'm talking about you just invest in uh, real estate and guess what you are there already okay what is real estate investment to you uh, real estate investment it is the process of putting your money on a real estate or on a piece of real estate property for gain or for generational wealth building home ownership uh, real estate investment anything that happens with real estate is a process if you want to do that just give me a call i have full package for people who want to invest from diaspora who want to invest from within you know it is possible one thing about the real estate people when they start talking about investment investment they scare us up you know you you always scare us like uh, we're thinking about $300,000, $500,000, $100,000. What is the investment all about? How much can somebody start up with for an investment? Yeah, to be sincere to you, there is no amount that is too small. Or neither there is an amount that is too big when it comes to an investment. Uh, it depends on your capability on what you can afford. When it comes to investment, we have small investment, we have larger investment. Uh, I have had people from Nigeria who invested in multi-family real estate uh, with us in America here in Houston. And I can tell you, it is paying off. It, a lot of people, uh, they are even referring a lot of people. And there are, there are a lot of people who doesn't have much money to go into a multi-family investment. They do the, the single family home investment, which is still a... Uh, uh, still economical okay. for people like that. It depends on what you can afford. So you're dodging, you're dodging to tell me the actual price that you can you know, invest. Basically, it is not about it. I just need the figure. Is it from ten thousand, from five thousand, from twenty thousand, or whatever? Uh, basically, even from two thousand dollars, it's possible you partake in real estate investment. Wow! But just you need the knowledge and the right set of people to work with. To work that with. is all you need. So, see, you guys, you understand, he's trying to put me in, a, in the very tight corner right now because he's telling me you can invest $2,000. Oh, there is something uh, we call crowdfunding. It is not basically that you are buying a home uh, by yourself only. You'll be coming uh, to work with a lot of people who are investing, crowdfunding, putting their money together to get a project done. So then, don't then, forget then. your money two thousand three four five thousand eight hundred or two million is mm. part of that project so then, then you, you will get your own uh, share part of share to the amount to the tone of the amount of money that is added to yeah. that project okay. that is how it works but i, I was only using two thousand dollars as an uh, as a as an example uh, yeah it could be more than that. It, it could be twenty thousand. It could be, could be uh, less than hundred thousand, two hundred, one million dollars, two, three, four, five million dollars. It depends on how you how much you have to invest. Let's say your credit is below fifty, and uh, you want to buy a home. How do you go about it? Uh, basically, uh, the best of credit to buy a home we start from five hundred and eighty credit score. But if you have a credit that is below 580, it is very, very possible you buy a home. How do you do that? There is a program we can actually enroll you in that actually help you. And there are some loan options that will even allow you to buy your home with less than 580 credit score. Wow. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people are not aware of this. This is a fact that I know that I have actually helped a lot of people with it. There are a lot of loan programs that will help you be a homeowner with even less than five it's i don't encourage people to um, to destroy their credit or not pay their debt on time but they are even if it is 580 or downward even fha will even now uh, give you a loan if you have less than 580. 580 yeah Uh, basically, we have four types of loans. We have the conventional loans, we have the FHA loans, we have the VA loans, and we have the USDA loans. 
the conventional loan is the loan that anybody could actually uh, get. It is backed by banks and all of that on your down payment. And the FHA loan is backed by the federal government. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the VA loan is the loan that is meant for people who have worked the military veterans. Okay. And the USDA loans is the loan that is uh, set aside for people who want to buy in the rural areas. So, so it depends on which it depends on where you want to buy your home <laughs> okay like i said earlier uh, the fha will permit you to buy with uh, less than 500 credit score between 520 and 580 credit score with a stipulated amount of down payment it is possible okay okay let's now look at someone that is working with a maybe in a restaurant and it's just making less than thirty thousand dollars in a in a year uh, uh, is it possible for such a person to have a home? It's very possible, sure. It's possible for him, for such person to have a home. If you can actually prove that you are working. Okay. And you are authorized to work. Mm -hmm. Just get your account statement ready and some document you have to bring to the table. It is very possible. Okay, guys. There's nobody that cannot have their own home it depends on what you're doing how you're doing it and you know how much you're getting out of it why is it the right time to invest in real estate uh, basically the right time to invest in real estate was five years ago uh, and the next best time to invest in real estate is today uh, what do I mean by five <laughs> years ago and yeah, today? I'm kind of uh, real estate is a project you have to buy and wait you don't wait to buy real estate uh, let me give you an illustration of a client of mine that bought a home two years ago 2021 uh, we bought the home for three hundred and twenty thousand dollars and the client decided to relocate back to nigeria just two months ago the home was sold for four hundred and eighty thousand dollars wow wow yeah wow. yeah after all expenses all charges the client walk away with one hundred and fifty-two thousand oh, dollars cash. Gosh. That's a good one. That is what I'm saying. <laughs> you have to buy real estate and wait. You don't wait to buy real estate. To run everything up, what do you have to tell people? Tell them your address, your phone number, and every other thing that they need to know about you, and let them know why they have to invest in real estate. Okay. Uh, once again, this is Shitu Abiodu Michael. Stalin Homes Realty. The phone number is 347-605-2347. Instagram on Stalin Realty underscore group. Uh, one of the benefits of you being a homeowner is that there are a lot of tax benefits when it comes to having your own home. It's a, it's, it's a whole lot of tax benefits every interest you pay on that property for the year is tax deductible that is that on tax benefit and you have your net worth goes up at that very moment you buy your home and you close on it your net worth goes up to the tone of the amount of the property you have closed on i will encourage anybody that is working to make sure they have a piece of real estate to their name it is very very essential it is important Real estate is important for anybody that is working. I have seen a lot of people who have been who have been in America five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, but because of the lack of information, they don't really uh, know what to do. They don't know who to talk to about it. But I tell you today, it's very important to you you invest in real estate. Even the real estate you buy to live in is a form of investment. The home you buy to live in is a form of investment because every month as you make your mortgage payment is reducing, it is reducing the cost of your home and you are building equity and appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to work with these people and if it is not real, you know, I won't bring such a person to, to your doorstep. The number to call is right on the screen. They are under it there and all of the information you may need, you need to contact them first then they will be able to tell you what next to do. But guess what? Have something to be at the back of your mind that there's nobody that, does, that doesn't deserve a real estate for himself. It's either you do it for, for gain or you do it for, for generational wealth. I want to encourage our people to reach out to me 
then I will help them. It is all about helping people out. I know I will make my money off real estate sales, but it is more of helping our people out to get a real, to have a real estate to their name. And it is possible. Just give me a call. Thank you, sir. What do you want to do now? Pick up your phone and call Mr. Michael Abiodun Shitu and let's know what, what you feel about it. Thank you so much and God bless you.